in this video we will learn about variables in automation anywhere with multiple live examples like excel variables, date and time variables, system variables, loop variables and the other variables. Uh, before that you should know what is variable and the different types of variable in the automation anywhere. So the variables are used to store your local information and you can refer or use the variables in the next line or the task within this automation task you can use your variables you can assign first you need to assign the variable and then you can use the variables there are three types of variable in the automation anywhere the first one is user or local variables second one is system variables third one is credential variables so the user variables are defined or needs to be created by the automation user and the system variables are predefined variables that are already provided by the automation anywhere you can use it anywhere and the credential variables after 10.2 version you can see the credential variables that are securely store your sensitive informations that will helps to store your sensitive sensitive informations for that you can use so let's start before that already have uploaded few videos about automation and certification interview question and answers download process for task editor trial version as well as the sql commands recorders and automation anywhere and the other commands and subcommands with multiple live examples already I have uploaded. So when you have a chance, please watch all the videos, like and subscribe my channel. Directly jump into the variables. So in my next videos, I will try to cover the user variables. In this video, I will show you the system variables like date and time, Excel, system, loop, email and the other variables. Within the date and time itself, you can see the multiple 8 commands. So, First, I will show you how to use the variables. So, in order to show the values in the, in order to dis display that, I will pick the message box. Within that, just you need to press F2. And first, I will show you the year. First, for that, you need to select year, insert, save. Here you can see in my system, current date and time is 7 4 2020 20, and the time is 4 48 in the year value i will run this so you can see in the year value it will display only the current year year of 2020 perfect like the same you can see the other values 2020 and the current month is 4 right in my system you can see the current month is 4 as well as the day the current day is 7 and the date, the date variable will show you the uh, particular date and the time format, hour, minute and the second format. Current time is 4.49, so it will show you the value as 4.49 and block something, something, anything, 4.49, right. So, like the same, you can get the results. And hover, hover will display only the particular hover, and the minute will show you the current minute, second, then milliseconds. In this format, it will show in the message box, or you you can update into any other log file, or any other items. You can use this particular values in the timestamp. Timestamp the date is perfect one since it will ref capture the date as well as the hour, minute, second formats. So, you can use. So, here I have selected month as well as the day and the year. So, the current month is 4, day is 7, year for that month, day, day, year format. I am expecting the result as 4, 7, 20, 20 in the message box the exact format of that. Here you can see 4, 7, 20, 20, I have got a result. In order to update into the database or you know Excel, you can use the commands. So here I have one more command for the hour, minute and second. Just I will run. Here I am expecting 4, 51 something. Here you can see hour, minute, second format. I got exact results. So now I will disable everything. Enable, then save the file, run the task. 
step by step you can see the message box with the results the first it will show you the year the first first line 2020 the second one it will show you the month month 4 day day 7 date with the date and the hour formats and the another one is i have created a added month day and the year hour current hour current minute current second current millisecond hour minute and second format final one is year yeah we got all the results within the message boxes so the date and time variable has been completed so we have completed the excel date and time and then we'll move to the excel variable so there are four types of variable available in the under the excel excel cell excel column excel cell column excel cell row so the excel cell will give you the particular range based on the column title you can get the particular range b4 c5 d5 something like that i'll show you and excel column will refer the active cell column so wherever you know in the excel for an example i can show you so i have highlight i have clicked on one of the cell so the active cell column is i since it's highlighted in the seventh row i7 so active cell column is i and the active cell row is 7 so like the same here it will show you the value as i and this one is 7 for an example and excel column you can use this only in the loop function it will show you the particular values exact values it will show you in the loop functionality so i will give you the examples for that let's start with the excel variables for that you need to open the first you need to open the excel spreadsheet under the excel command you can see the open spreadsheet just drag and drop the open spreadsheet function and you need to select the particular file particular workbook file please ensure that you have checked this checkbox contains header then only you can see the excel cell values or else you will get some errors error prompt definitely you will get it so please ensure to check this contains header checkbox once you have done just save in the message box i will delete and run update that excel cell click on insert again you will get one more prompt here you need to enter your column title so uh, now my task is i need column you know now we cannot consider column i need a column title with value and the second value like tinash so i need this one for that you need to enter the column title and the second or third numbers row numbers you need to enter the column title as well as the row numbers you need to enter within this so why we are using this because of you may have 1000 2000 3000 columns in your excel workbooks if you want to find the particular columns you can use this condition using this excel cell how it will works like directly it will go to the any value column and the second values so i will update in the column title you need to update position now i need a second one second row i need it so i will update the second one so what i will get is i will get range b2 in the message box so since the second one is b2 right using this you can find the that particular column is column title is available in the column b we can consider so i'll run the task runtime window has started opening the work spreadsheet here you can see it's exactly displaying the current range under the column title value if there is a possibilities of adding the columns deleting the columns anything will happens it will not affect no it will directly show you the current values so i'll disable next excel cell column so th this one will give you the excel active cell column so like now i have selected the column as h so here i am expecting the 
Excel cell column value as H. Excel cell column insert save. So I have selected the H column, right? So it will show you the active cell column. It will display H. The active cell column it will display. Here you can see the results in the message box. Perfect. You can see the value as H. So if I'm changing any values. Using the go to cell, I am go to. I have selected E5 first. Open the spreadsheet and go to E5. Then the message box will display the active cell column is E. Since the active cell column is E, right? So it displaying as E value. Perfect. We got it. I'll dis disable this one. Enable the next line. So the Excel cell will Excel cell row will display the active cell row. Run the task. Open spreadsheet. Here you can see five. Since I have selected the active cell column as E and the active cell row is five. Highlighted right here, you can see E5. So you are seeing the exact value of active cell row is five. If I am going to the and one more feature is available in the this functionality. For an example, if you want to see the, if you want to count for the entire records, here we have twelve records right. If you want to see the records for that, you can use first go to cell command. Using the go to cell command. You need to select the end of the column, so it will directly go to end of the column. Then you can see the active cell row. So here you can see if directly it will go to the end of the column. Here you can see it will selected the row number is twelve, right? Like this, you can see the total number of records in the worksheet. So I'll run this. So it will open the spreadsheet. Then it will go to the end of the cell. Then the active cell row is 12, so you can count. Consider the total number of records available in the worksheet as 12. Perfect, you got the results. Like this, you can use the Excel cell row functionality. This one is an important function, and the another one is Excel column. So within this loop, within the loop, you can use the Excel cell columns. For that, first you need to use the Get cells function. So within this get cells function, we have three options like get single cell, get multiple cells, get all cells. For that, you can use get all cells or get multiple cells. Excel columns. Now I have selected get all cells. Then you need to use the loop function. Within the loop, you can see each row in an Excel data set. You need to just drag and drop. Within the message box, I am showing the Excel column. So just delete and uh, F2 Excel column. Once you select the Excel column, click on Insert. Here it will ask you enter the column number, which means the A will consider as column one, B column two, C column three, D column four. Like that, you need to enter the column numbers. Here you don't need to enter the column title or anything. You just need to enter the column numbers one, two, or three. A is one, B is two. So now I need the first column and the second column. So first you need to enter the first. Then I will hyphen press F two column number. Sorry, column number. Excel column. Click on Insert. In this I will select two. Click on Save. Now I have two variables. So what will happen is in the each rows in the Excel worksheets, I have how many values? Eleven values are there in the Excel spreadsheet. So each and every time it will show the first value and the second values. First value hyphen second values like 
ஃபஸ்ட் காலம் வேல்யூ ஒன் ஹைஃபன் தினாஷ் டூ ஹைஃபன் ஆட்டோமேஷன் யூனிவர் த்ரீ ஹைஃபன் லைக் லைக் திஸ் த மெசேஜ் பாக்ஸ் வில் டிஸ்பிளே த எக்ஸாக்ட் வேல்யூஸ் ஐ ரன் திஸ் டாஸ்க் ஸோ ஐ கேன் ரீசீவ் த ரிசல்ட்ஸ் இந்த விண்டோ ஹஸ்பின் ஸ்டார்டட் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி யா ஹியர் யூ கேன் சி ஒன் ஹைஃபன் தினாஷ் சென்ஸ் த லூப் வேல்யூ ஃபஸ்ட் இட் வில் கன்சிடர் த ரோ நம்பர் டூ ஸோ ஒன் ஹைஃபன் தினாஷ் த செகண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் டூ ஹைஃபன் ஆட்டோமேஷன் இனிவர் யா தென் த தேர்ட் ஒன் பெர்ஃபெக்ட்ஸ் இன்னும் இட்ஸ் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி ரிசல்ட் எக்ஸல் காலம்ஸ் ஸோ இட் வில் ஷோ இ த எக்ஸ எக்ஸாக்ட் வேல்யூஸ் த அதர் எக்ஸல் செல் அண்ட் த எக்ஸல் செல் காலம் எக்ஸல் செல் ரோ இட் வில் டிஸ்பிளே த ஆக்டிவ் செல் ரோ ஆர் த காலம் டீட்டெயில்ஸ் பட் திஸ் காலம் ஓன்லி எக்ஸல் காலம் ஓன்லி டிஸ்பிளே த வேல்யூஸ் ஆஃப் த வேல் டிஸ்பிளே த வேல்யூஸ் எவ்ரி ஆல் த வேல்யூஸ் then we have covered the date and time and the excel so in the date and time you can see the formats for future reference you can capture or snapshot take a snapshot excel cell you can see from the column title which which value which row you need to extract or identify the particular range and the excel cell row column is active cell column excel cell row means active cell row within the loop you can see the excel column values the particular values you can see the column values and the next one is system variables so under the system you can see multiple variables like machine the machine will returns the machine name the current when the bot runs machine or any machines it will returns the current machine name clipboard clipboard will return returns the clipboard text data even if i have copied any of the text you know if i have co- now i have copied range e a16 e16 which is returns machine name i have copied so it will return the clipboard text data copy text data within the system variable you can see multiple string conditions like processor driver data one drive path text so i'll show you if you select the system click on insert it will give you the drop down list so within that you can choose anything processor driver data computer name common program one drive home path region code anything temp temporary file user domain program files or anything you can choose it there are multiple options are available within the system then ai application path it will returns the product application path and installation path task name so this one is very very important the task name will give you the active task name with entire path and the another one is task executor name so this will execute the task executor name first name last name and the email address and everything within this you can see the final results control room url cpu usage ram usage total ram all the details operating system o- os name like your os name windows 10 or windows 7 anything it will display total rows of array for that you need a you need to use the array conditions current work items like that so as i said earlier i'll cover the loop function and the email pdf and the everything in the next videos there are multiple conditions are there so i'll give you the examples for loop var- sorry system variables i'll delete this one enable everything so you can see the results quickly save the task and run first it showing the clipboard values so returns machine name the clipboard application has written machine name name i have copied values then the laptop name then the system processor then the system driver data here you can see then the ai application path exact path of ai application 
and the installation file path then the aa task name the current task name with the entire drive details like from c drive file name file extension everything cpu usage usage of your cpu it will take some time to validate the cpu yeah, here you can see cpu usage is 77.35 ram usage your total ram then here you can see the total ram is 764546 os name my os name is microsoft windows 10 home single that's it by this way you can see all the variables excel date and the everything here you can see the excel date excel and the system variable so we have covered the three items i have created a i will create new videos for the loop variable as well as the email variables and the pdf and everything shortly hope you know when you are watching this video i have created i may have so please watch all the videos in my channel i have created i need more subscribers so please subscribe my channel so please subscribe like all the videos until the until end of the video please watch all those things you know within some time i'll create all those videos about automation anywhere everything in each and everything i'll create all the videos so please keep in touch please subscribe my channel and click click on the bell icon so keep in touch really thank you thanks for your time bye bye